Seder. Yeah, it can prove to be a bit frustrating. Bottom lane. Or right, I'm getting gone on again. And uh, after the shackle does fly, he's going to be forced to fly up and above and down to the river, but not going to be able to make it away. No safe place for this bat to kind of find his own recovery. But, you know, to the benefit of MVP, this top lane is also going very nicely for them. Pushing it in again. They're ready. They're getting ready for the dive. Say the same thing here, bottom lane. It's almost a bit of a carbon copy, but Febby looks to make his move. No tail. Hustles up to the north. There's Yubu. Who has a TP? There's a couple of TPs are coming in, and MVP are trying to turn and run. Yubu, though, is going to be the man left behind, and with such a long cooldown on the early, which is level six, he also went right for those arcane boots, looking to probably shift him into an ether lens in the future here. But now, potentially, cop between two. Fly's going to spot him out, leads him with the hex. Then we'll follow up with the shackle shot, and guess what? Crit, he has a net waiting as well. The lockdown just doesn't stop here, and Forev will be dropped. Such, a, such an interesting game, though. I mean, both teams just ad adapting to the way that each, each other play, and just the movement moving around, like the aggressive tri lanes, and now mid lane is in trouble. Anking Doom, here he comes. Another rune. How you doing? Boom, pops in, Infernal Blade, and Medusa. He just gets deuced on at that moment. And they will turn this into a push onto the tier one in the mid lane. While this does happen, as you can see, MVP at the top will look to go for their own trade. Finally being able to take down that pesky tier one tower opens up the jungle for themselves. They want to kind of invade a bit and plant down some offensive words. But hey, a potential response comes in from MVP after the tower drops. A roll forward here from Dubu. Will be able to get a connection. Fly commits the wards, and Dubu goes down just as fast as he rolls in. But MP now got no man. Copy slash, and man, they just hit him up with a doom right after it concludes. I don't even think he knows it here. He thinks he's going to have some casual camp farm here, but crit, fly, all in the area. There's going to be a roll in from Dubu as they try to make the move for Moon. Can they get him finished off? They silence him up. They need a little bit more. Moon looking to hustle him, make it away. Gets the move phase off, tries to drum, but not going to be good enough. They will be able to finish him off. And now Crit just isolates MP and just starts sticking him with the right-click damage there. And they will be able to get their own trade. A better one there for OG. Forev also going to be going down to the hands of Fly. Makes it that. I mean, they're, if you look at the lineup of OG, I don't even think they're going to be easily brought down in any sort of team fight. Oh, Q -O. Yep, he gets doomed up. There's the Infernal Blade. Moon just going to look to stalk him down. He's like, oh, that haste room's going to be mine, and I'm going to walk that much faster now. Debbie awaits for him at the high ground here. Could try to hit him with the coconut, but Moon's like, actually, I'll take the Witch Doctor instead. But now Moon, going to get hog tied up here from Forev. They surround him. Fly shows up, tries to assist. Moon in a bit of trouble here. Long kick. Not going to be able to connect here from Dubu, and Moon hustles away on the back end of a haste rune and will... Make it out One safely. Hit from death. Their draft. I would have said this is a very big conflict of their usual style of play. Yeah. Now QO pushed up very far. Might get caught out. There is a from behind here. Yeah. OG looking to make the move. Dubu and Fly will cross pass, and they quickly hex him up, and they eliminate the Rock Man. And now they're looking for more. As they move for QO, he's going to be popping the Stone Gaze here. He's alone though. By a couple. Bevy trying to make it out. Boom. Going to be taken down with the help of the wards right there. And now they get the Cyclone up onto QO as he does fall. They have the Shackles to connect. Trying his best to soak up all that damage with the Mana Shield, but not nearly going to be enough. Oh, and look at this. You got some stacks here. We'll try to take a bit of this as well. minutes. That's one of their one of their big team fight ultimates though too with the Earth Spirit, but also got his ultimate. Jump in, they get a grab here for Miracle. Dubu will roll in thereafter and be able to set up the magnetize. They will catch him with the stun, that will get the finish. It will cost Dubu his life for the kill, but MVP certainly starved to kind of get any sort of net worth swing their way. And now we'll take that business towards his top lane here. Febby's hanging nearby, he's just like, I just want to him though. A little bit of me time here. Trying to quickly get up to level seven. Mango, so consumed. Boom! They jump right in and pay a visit to their doctor. And oh, oh, oh. Okay, Febby <laughs> hides in the corner, but eventually they. Oh, they the get the doom on MP too. Oh, MP shows himself, but that's right into the hands of Moon, and that will lead off into a doom. Okay, nice stun there from Dubu. And MP should be able to make it safely away. They still stock him out. A jump in though will be happening here from Forev as he gets the snack from Moon, pulls him back, and it's right into a nice stone gaze. Beautiful setup from MVP. Can they get the finish though? A jump in from No Tail. He gets gets the stunned up. Now we'll commit into the primal split split rather. We're able to finish off the QO and then the follow-up will be there. MP also gonna be going down. This steal turns out into a huge fight for OG as Dubu tries to roll away. They even get the hex on that one. That was so nice by Fly. He had the uh, hex cooling down. He ran. MVP just happy to scrap together whatever they can get across the map. But 
pressure is going to be coming their way. And you know, he's got to set up a fire flyer. They might just go high ground. I think yeah. they're done anyway with the level I mean, two. He quickly tries to lay down the, the the blaze of fire at this point, but I don't know how much it's going to be. And how how good could MVP's high ground defense even be at this point in the game when you're going against a sieging? Bear and these wards. MP, though, will be able to kind of step in and try his best to kind of disrupt the war momentum, but they make their move. QO going to be committing the stone gates for this one after no tail makes his jump in. The bears are going to be frozen on up, and they look to step back. That tier 3 does go down. OG going to be taking the winnings, like in the retreat. Oh, no, Dubu rolls in, but it rolls into his own death. Yeah, in the river, but I'm not sure if they even want to go into the Roche pit. Yeah, they just want to go pick this fight. Lead the way, Creep. Scout it out. They'll see MP. The jump's going to come out from Forever. They get the last of pullback for Crit. As that happens, Dubu looking to dish out the stun, but he's going to be quickly taken down. If not careful, Stone Gaze will be dished out, and it is just absolute chaos here across the map. Moon going to be able to get that finish on for Dubu here. On the other side, QO looks to make a slip out, and they begin to pursue. They are just hustling. Like, quickly grab a TV scroll and hide and try to make it back to base. They expended all their ultimates and killed nobody. They didn't even hurt any oh, They found QO. They're going to be hexing him up. This Medusa is in trouble. And they will just quickly take the apart. They will lose two. They will lose three. Something weird happened with the uh, with his Omni Slash. It was like Forever was lassoing the Enchantress and he Omni Slash and as he pulled him down the cliff, the Omni just stopped. Later, which is going to be bit right there from QO. But OG recognized this and they begin to pressure down this mid lane, not making anything easy for MVP to be able to move out far from their base to find the farm. And QO trying his best to just try to take these Ancient Camps, but as he floats around that area, they're going to be making their jump. Mood commits to Doom and for this Medusa now. Death Ward from the backside from Fevy looks pretty nice, but a Savage Roar will quickly cancel it out. They even entangle him up, and that Witch Doctor is, is set to go down here. Dubu is going to be able to roll down and away, but Miracle now on a killing spree after getting that pick off, and this will allow them to kind of step back and get the finish on this Tier 2. And here comes trouble. QO quickly hexed up this Medusa. And for a world of hurt, if not saved out, there's going to be the Magnetize committed. The Stone Gaze will be there, but it's still going to be the end of the Medusa. Out for a minute, no buyback for her, and it looks like OG are on the move. We're going to take game number two. They make the work onto this Tier 3 tower with wards now committed. Can MVP have their hold here? Looks like it is Doom. Grid obviously we're completing out his Dragon Lance on the move. Aaron Magnum Scepter is bottom lane. Forev is going to be able to get the jump here from No Tail. Nice lasso back into the silence. We'll let them get the kill for the Brewmaster. We'll cost them Dubu, who set the whole thing up. But OG approaching your front door. Bear going to work on your towers. Ward's being dropped. Doom's getting ready to jump onto you. Like, how do you focus properly if you're MVP? Oh, first hit. Really he might not even get that. There's going to be the root there, which forces up the stone gaze. Moon going to be jumping in, turns back, pops out the shield. There's the ward, though, coming out from Fevy. Nicely from the back lines here. For Ev, as he jumps in for the last, he's going to get quickly hexed up. MP, though, eating a wealth of damage from the Doom and the wards that have been dropped here. Why trapping himself with the side of the safety zone of those wards. And, well, MVP quickly look to disengage. Are they going to be able to make it away though? OG look to pursue and they quickly slash apart to QO and Fevy. Three going to be going down. MP is going to be out of the end. Their star ladder life. OG still not wanting to... And their discipline. Yeah, they're not wanting to risk anything. <laughs> they got two axes. Okay. Jumping to Perez. Going to be a last of Moon. The Lincolns will come in just a hair too late, but the Omni Slash will be there to follow. And they'll be able to finish off the Doom at this point. MP moves in next, tries to make a move for No-Tail, but... Savage Roar pushes everyone back. else back. Dubu gets a nice kick on Crit. And crit. All right, pullback silence. we forward. This could be a good surplus for MVP. Yeah, they're going to get and some they'll be able to get Fly. This will be the biggest convincing team fight that MVP will have had this game. To get a snack they can't. The... They cannot let this roster drop the wards. They have to try to go on them right away before that happens. And is that on Forev though to to do something about it? Get a quick lasso pullback here. I don't know, but OG does not have creeps on the bottom lane, but they do have creeps coming in through the mid lane. And see, once OG they breach in, they in. begin to make the move. The wards are going to be dropped here. QO moves in, but he is caught up in the midst of all these bears from No Tail. Oh, Dubu gets thrown in the air as well. So it looks like a rat's going to drop for. Yep. Nothing here. Dubu moves in, not even going to be committing the Magnetize. It looks like MVP are just going to have to sack this bottom set of racks. That's two racks already down. There are very few outs at this point. Interesting. So they're playing extremely safe. Sit at the Tier 4s. Another smoke comes out. I think it may have just came... Yeah. 
Uh, okay, they were just, I guess, waiting on the smoke. It came up a couple seconds ago, so... Pick up the smoke, and they're gonna just smoke out. And Medusa right here. Oh! Seven. There it is! This is it! The all-in card now for MVP to stay alive in this tournament. They make their move for the Roche. They can get this lady and Aegis and make it all things easier, but OG make their move. Has it happened forever? Gonna get the last one. Oh, it's gonna be the fly. Moon also jumps in though. Fabi gets his own death one. We're getting quickly hexed up and cancel out. Magnetize is gonna be going out here. Can MVP hold? It doesn't look like it. The Medusa goes down, which means the Rapier also hits the deck. And Bear's well got it. Miracle of all the people to pick it up. The bear has it now. And quickly, OG are going to get the better end of this fight. They move into the pit, and they will get the finish here for the Roche. A valiant effort for MVP, going all in for that rapier, but they lose it almost just as fast as they pick it up. It did a lot of damage in the fight, but MVP now looking to go out without a fight, though. Lady Medusa going to be back in one second. Same with MP. This is the final hurrah for MVP. But it does look like they will be making their exit here from the Star Ladder event without even being able to take a win. OG will be able to 2-0 sweep here, and this will be the final hurrah. QO is easily going to get shot down, all by crit there on the back lines. Magnetize, they jump in, they commit for it, but it is... This guitar coming out in the back of the rock. They're feeling it right now. OG! Uh,